Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist China! And, uh, Japan is wrecking non-Communist China right now, which is actually still very bad for us. And we are in critical need of more infantry equipment. Concentrated industry, done. That will help a little bit. Um, advanced machine tools, done. Uh, once we get our efficiency at our cap, that will help as well. We might actually want to get the resource excavation bonus because we do, we are slightly short on steel and we can dig a little bit up. Let's take a quick look actually at our resource map mode. I believe so when we have, we have a penalty here because some of our infrastructure is damaged. We're not getting all of it we can, but it's not even that rich of a province in the first place. So I'm not sure the excavation bonus is necessarily worth it. I'm tempted to get these two advanced, like, ahead of time things, just to continue to make our infantry slightly stronger. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. It doesn't require us to build anything new, which is going to be nice. You're doing that. Um, I'm going to continue to get a slow trickle of support equipment in here, but I think we'll just plan for, like, a lot more infantry. So I don't think I'm going to trade for any more steel right now in terms of construction. Uh, I think repairing all this infrastructure is actually going to be critical. That infrastructure in white a little bit, I think. And that's actually, that's even lower priority. Um, and then, yeah, finishing that factory will be handy dandy. But the infrastructure, I mean, for resources and movement and the goods, those are all okay. So, we're mostly just chilling here. You can see our, our strength on a lot of these guys is, there we go, right over here. Um, current fighting strength, 41%. Uh, it, the, um, your penalty to fighting strength is like an exponential thing based on lost equipment. It gets really bad, so I definitely have to stop attacking. Uh, what's the decision? Is it... Yeah. So we, I don't, still don't think we need the war propaganda. Our war uh, support is fine and good. I will appropriate this. Again, we are losing some of this uh, stability, but I think that's okay. And it's also a, an expense of, um, of political power, but you can only do it once per province, or once per state, sorry, I think. So I don't think it's a huge problem to hit that button right now as it comes up. Yeah, making counterattacks is bad. I do have on core territory, and as far as I know, I should have cores everywhere. Yeah, I have cores all over the greater Chinese area, so I have a 20% defense boost on all those things. Uh, which is good, but probably not enough, especially now that Japan has got their air support in place here. And I have, like, literally no option to do anything about that. I don't have planes. We did build the airport with the hope that something would happen. Switzerland getting involved over here. Meanwhile, how's the Polish front? Czechoslovakia is growing, like, the, the eastern flank of the German Reich here. Oh my god. This is, was a great landing ground, maybe, for the Allies. Berlin might be about to fall. The funny thing about Germany is it doesn't actually have as much core territory as, you know, well, you gotta remember, their core territory is what, well, is what they, they concede with. And then there's like the stability and war support. I actually don't know how the concession rules work exactly as of 1.5, but I think they could concede a little faster than you might expect is, is what I'm trying to get to. Um, no, what, what is, don't, that's not what I want to use. I want to. I'm clearly clicking on the circle here, and I didn't want to overlap like that. I want to do this. These guys are all defending. I'm worried if we lose this, that would really be poor, and it could happen. I'm gonna send back there and reinforce there. Once that attack is done, you can move, which is now. So that's good. There we go. Okay, and they give up, and then we'll redistribute again, that's going to be okay. You've capitulated. Okay, we didn't lose that battle, which was good, because that could cut off a lot of stuff. <sighs> yep. Soon we're going to be alone against Japan. Now, I mean, what could we have done? If we had rushed our neighboring warlords faster, the thing is, could you imagine trying to attack these guys with all, like, the mountainous terrain here? I don't know how that would have worked. I suppose we could build transport planes, so we could have... Could we have quickly teched up the paratroopers? But if they leave, like, one unit behind in their city, then that's it. The paratroopers are just going to get eaten at, like, this stage of the game with what we can do, and... Yeah. Uh, 
Let's see, this is a front here now. We might actually be able to do a little something something here. Again, fighting at lower strength makes me, means we take more losses, which means we lose more equipment, and our situation keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Right now, we are slightly gaining on infantry equipment, and of course, we're still working towards um, higher efficiency. It's getting better, though. It's definitely getting better. And we're not actually producing support equipment yet. I just want... Do we push out? Then that's more territory we have to hold. Although then we can't be attacked from both sides here, which is something. And I guess I don't need to defend over here anymore. So yeah, basically we move this guy, these guys to over there. So we're holding just as many provinces, more or less. This one's a little vulnerable to be attacked from multiple angles. Although I could push in more here. Is there any way I can get behind these guys? If I had... If I had that one light tank division, which I can get by continuing to go down the make friends with the Soviets route. Ooh, that's being defended now. Halt. Although I guess I didn't get these guys involved, but. Uh. Okay. Right. I see why our front line isn't here anymore, but it's a little bit weird. I probably still want to do something like this? Hmm. Lots of upgrades. I mean, we are getting our new types of guns, and we are producing those guns probably sooner than anyone else is, but in the meantime, it did cost us a lot of production efficiency, which is why we have to be so mellow about moving forward. I don't know, this communist China run, man. You should just run nationalist China. You know... National China has a lot of really interesting stuff. People's War. Okay. Pause. Uh, Siam Grant. Oh, Siam joins into so someone else. That's no good. Maybe I could suck up to some people and get some more things. But yeah, okay. So, 10% uh, discounted production cost for infantry weapons. That's going to be glorious. Um, let's see if we what happens if we trigger the Soviet volunteer group. Hungary joins the Axis. Mm-hmm. How's, uh, how's Berlin? Oh, they push back. Okay. I mean, if they start wars here or here, they're going to have to divert some troops. I don't know if that's going to be enough to make a difference. I think that basically they've taken all their troops over here and they're finally arriving in the east, and that's going to be a pretty competent pushback. Um, I'm going to hold off on the industrial land um, acquisition because there's probably some more military advisors we can grab. Well, some of these guys with low strength aren't even my units. They're someone else's units. Although, I don't know if I have to supply them with equipment. And that might be part of the problem here, too. I might have to be supplying equipment to troops that are kind of... Bleh. Alright, we, we may continue to hold some of this stuff. Still don't know about starting a counterattack here. I think it's probably still a good idea to play it on the back. Like, just stay defensive. Take advantage of our 20% boost until we get all our equipment back. I mean, we don't even have support divisions assigned to these. They're just 40 pure infantry. Well, a lot of them are not even the 40 pure. They're like 20 or some miscellaneous thing from another nation. They have a lot of troops here, but I mean, with so much dig in, things are going surprisingly well. Remember, there's no river crossing here and this is just flat desert. But I think the, the dig in and the 20% defense boost is really making a huge difference. That's still surprisingly holding. And yeah, I have no buttons hit on play. But the thing is, like, Japan's still making huge gains over here. Huge, massive gains. And then what are they going to do? Come up north? Surround me? Like, there's some... Hold on. Did... Is Nationalist China just gone? Nationalist China is just gone. Jai, Jai Bei San Mei, whatever they're called, has all their stuff. They may have been playing the political influence game and just, like, consumed nationalist China. Now, that's interesting because you probably don't have the my troops are 50% worse. You don't. This is really good news. Now, this little peninsula we have going on here is not really good news in terms of defensibility. 
Can I not assist that? Oh no, I don't actually border there. No, you do, but yeah. You know what? I will go and get an assist here. Oh, which is not going to help. National Spain joined the Axis. Oh my god, that's going to be dangerous. Fan called in Siam. I don't think that's particularly influential. They're pretty far away. It'd be great if the Allies could declare war in Japan. Follow Gibraltar. Yeah, I mean, that happens pretty fast every time. Hmm. I could try and attack here, but to what end? Yeah, you know, we have a somewhat lower strength, but the multi-attack combat with they're busy. We might get these guys to support as well. Yeah, that 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 went fairly well. And these guys are pretty low too. What we really want to do is sort of get some encirclements here. That's what we have to do to start really costing some stuff. How are we overall? So we've only lost 53k troops, but Japan's only lost 350,000. Which is not very much. Um, Nationalist China, has, we don't see their losses anymore, but you know, it's like in the millions. So you're moving up there. I'm going to get you to try to attack here. Which should be okay. Oh, they reinforced over there. Um... I'm going to unselect you, so I'm going to allow you guys to keep moving. The rest of you are actually going to stay where you are and assist here. Oh, we might get pushed back here. Still, we're going to push back into territory we own. <clears throat> Minus 4k. The equipment situation continues to get better. And this better equipment as well. Hmm... Yeah, just keep holding up here. So I don't have to worry at all over here. It's here because, I mean, A, we haven't dug into as many places as, as long, and there's not quite as many defensive bonuses available for things. Just a little pushback there. If we could attack here and just choke these guys off, any encirclement we could do would just start to do so much for us. We, all, we hardly have a second to breathe in between attacks. Could we do this? No, I mean, look at look at the low strength. 19% fighting strength. China has capitulated. Okay. Oh. Um. <laughs> uh, GG? Wow, that's pretty GG. Now, they don't have troops over here yet, but what are we possibly going to do about that? There's no way we can hold everything. Like, we could try to, I don't know, rebalance our troops here defensively, but not really. Then there's a bunch of people suddenly doing a strategic movement, and then they're going to get obliterated. Boom. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, that that's the end. This is the end, my friend. This is the end. I kind of want to do another campaign here. I'm thinking about playing as Nationalist China. Just make sure you guys are actually going to the fronts I want you to do. Please and thank you. Uh, you're gonna go here. Bop this guy, shove him back. Well, it's not a bop. Really? I mean, I know it's pretty rough terrain. Oh, now they're reinforcing. And I know we don't have that, like, the strength, but. Oh, man, that's. Well! I guess we can keep going. Belgium joins the Allies. There we go. Germany. Being Germany. And the Netherlands. 
cut you off here. Just try to like minimize length of some of these borders and we'll see if there's anything we can do, but there's no way. Oh, we have buttons we can push. Um, right, because I'd cancel all this. Again, I don't need this. War bonds is less consumer goods or fewer consumer goods factories. Sure. Um, hmm. Mini encirclement. I mean, it's something. Uh, halt. Halt. I think uh, this border got pushed back and they were going to like an old position that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, if we were to lose this, this would be really bad. Halt. Because all these guys would get cut off. So let's try to avoid that. Halt. 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 Halt you. And you. Just hold steady here. How long can we hold? Oh, Poland's capitulated. I mean, we'll probably keep going for now. Um, this is interesting that, like, there's no one here anymore. Invite Soviet advisors. Soviet volunteer group. I don't know what this is going to do for us. If anything. But... Definitely true that we could use some assistance of some kind. Alright, we can fix that little bulge. Moving that way, which is good. Oh, people did move in over here, so go back to defend, defend, defend. Uh, I'm going to shrink this purple line like that. Purple, I think, is still the one that is being worked pretty hard. Lithuania, Netherlands, everyone's capitulating. Uh, I guess you just arrived, so you have no org. But, oops. You were the wrong one to attack with, because you didn't really have the strength. I could probably get you to just do an assist here, though. Push this back a little bit. You're moving there... You're just chilling here. Okay, okay. That's good. It's all the people doing strategic redeployment. Um, get down here. Get down here. Try to hold that. Although a counterattack there would be potentially successful. Could do some things. Decisions. Desperate defense. I agree. What is this? Defense 20%, entrenchment speed 50%. This is for 20 or for 45 days. Let's do it. And at the same time, last stand, last stand. Because let's be real, this really is our last stand. You're why? Oh, you're part of Team Green. Could I? I'm just gonna move you to purple because you're here. That makes a lot more sense. Probably, maybe holding? I don't know. <clears throat> Things happening here. Do we want to counterattack and take the city? I think the answer is very much yes. Yes, we would like to do that. 3k down on equipment. So, I mean, our troops are getting a little bit better. They actually are having more and more bullets now, which is good. Uh, yeah, see, this is exactly the sort of thing. Are you actually... Halt. Oh, and then you're defending. Um, do I have anyone that can be sent over here? I'm not sure that I will, so we'll just lose that. Belgium is capitulated. Hold, hold. Oh, is attack not going to work anymore? Are you assisting? There we go. Just do that. That's still looking dicey. Pull back. And you'll probably do the same thing when you get a chance. What is this? Low manpower. Uh, that is very true. I have to change our manpower laws. How come? Hold on. How come our manpower went down that fast? We haven't lost anyone. I guess we're deploying more troops is all. Oh. No, we don't have low manpower. Something was just must have just been recalculating somewhere along the line. Did it not say like 100 and something for a second? Yeah, I don't know. Mm, 
So we push there. These guys have like no juice right now. I'm going to push in here. I mean, I don't think there's a lot of factories and stuff over here, but let's do what we can. It's not really extending our front line very much. Uh, reinforced here. Again, we could push a little. Let's do that. At very least, widen this to two might be kind of handy. Hmm. I'm going to push you back to the other side of the river here, buddy. That should be a really easy attack. Really easy. Oh! I didn't realize they pushed us back over here. These are our forts, too. So they're going to be getting the fort bonus. we got to retake this right away. Support weapons are done. This is going to finish soon. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Start a motorized. Damn. If they get dug in over here, we're never going to retake this location. You're coming in here, and I want to assist from the angle here. Come on, halt your attack. Halt your attack. Although, well, they're all taking turns. They're pretty low. May I, you know what? I don't need to help, and maybe I shouldn't. Oh, this is hurting. I'm going to take one of you and go here. Because they're really low on org. And then I'll sift from the flank when we get a chance here. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is less good, but I guess it's still a thing. I think I'm still fine with, like, a lot of this manual moving around. Is this... Oh my god, that's all Japanese territory too now. Just boarding Sinkiang, who are in the war against Japan. So, Japan is forced to keep dudes over here. Not that there's a whole heck of a lot. Um, I think I'm still going to wait. I'm probably still going to change my volunteer policy. Assist without moving. Uh, I don't suppose you can do that. No. I didn't think that was going to work out. Um, I would like to take this back here. Although I don't know what kind of assistance we can throw in. We may have to wait. I'm just worried about them getting dig dug into my forts here. Can I not halt you? Maybe because you're two different armies? Okay, there we go. Halt and halt. Reload then. No combat strength whatsoever. Organization, that's it. German interest in Scandinavia, uh-huh. Denmark. Norway. Okay. <laughs> There's still bits of China over here. Like, come on, at this point, this should just be me. It should just be me. China doesn't exist. There's only one China, and it's me. Red China. Uh, that's really bad. And we got the fort there. We need to get a little bit of dig in organization going on. Okay, we did instantly push them back, which is good. Interesting they left that empty. I don't think we're going to be able to take advantage of that. Any chance? I don't think so. They seem pretty low. Yeah. Halt and defend. Halt and defend. Minus 3.8k. And actually, we're losing right now. Losing equipment because we're taking much, much, much worse fights. Is this there? It is a victory point over here? Is it? No? No. Just sort of a city. Okay. Too bad, because victory points equal supplies over here, which can flow out a lot better. Okay. Volunteer group. Whatever that might mean. Mm, elite Mountaineers. I mean, we do want that, but it's probably too late. If we go down here, we can get the experimental mechanized unit. I don't know if we'll get there in time, but we can try. Let's keep going. We've still only lost 63k people. I mean, you know, only 63,000 people. What does that mean? Nothing. Uh, Lend lease from Mongolia, but it needs convoys. Tunatuvu. I mean, I think it's all, like, infantry equipment, but... Ooh, those are some... Some encirclements going on there. Iceland. Taking control. Push back here. Oh, we got pushed back here again. We're holding this fort, but they can, like, hit us from many, many, many angles simultaneously here. 
I mean, I can't see what's possibly going to change anything here. And if nothing changes, then uh, we can't actually move. I thought there was a two stack over here. We need to maintain this position. Um, and if nothing changes, then we need to probably just GG out of this game. Or we can, like, regain that, that city over here. Liberate it and maybe cut off some things back here. Hmm. I mean, I know that, like, you know, the Chinese area is going to be tricky with Japan being over here. Maybe, I mean, if we'd gone more of a... What? I don't know. I don't have an answer. I don't have nothing. Here, let's get improved computing machine to make our research that we're going to do so much of cheaper. Uh, you guys can go and definitely whack that guy. And there's no one here. Large front operations. Less supply consumption. That's not bad. Honestly, I don't know if that's going to help much, but we'll keep going down the, uh, the tree anyway. Decisions, war propaganda. No, I don't. I don't need any war propaganda. At all. Let's go there, because retaking this territory some other time is going to be a huge pain in the butt. Do, do, do. You're still moving that way, which is fine. I don't know if we're going to be able to rescue those guys. Now, maybe, you know, in preparation... Well, okay, I still like the, the thick army for our border conflicts. But it might be better to have, like, a lot of thinner divisions, you know, in the future, just to spread this out a little bit more. I'm going to extend you here. I don't want a gap. I don't even know why some of those are forming. Holding, holding, holding. We can counterattack there, but... And we may just want to continue being more defensively minded. They are throwing a lot of little things over here as we continue to hold. Uh, I'm going to halt your movement here. Pushing out anymore really doesn't make any sense. In fact, you can get cut off over here. Okay, he's just attacking you. And he's going to be unsuccessful, and then you should be able to pull back. Mm, because we don't want to pull back on, like, a retreat. A retreat pullback would be bad. Here, I'll move you here temporarily just to have a token dude over here. Okay, you're still holding. <clears throat> you're not holding here. Could try a counterattack, but I don't know about that. No. Well, you're splitting your attack now. I don't know if that makes a difference. Doesn't seem to actually be making much of a difference for, again, about here. We can push through there with fair ease. And push back here. Yeah, I mean, we just can't, we can't stop the Japanese monster at this point. It's too much. And I don't see any, uh... Air Force. Did you just send volunteer Air Force? I mean, there's no planes here. Yeah, a volunteer Air Force would be great. But I don't see any, any friendly planes over here, and I don't see any messages, and I don't think I can ask for it. Again, I can ask for a request license. Maybe I should have just joined the common term. Or not joined in this war. Well, I mean, no. Japan would have gone after me at some point, right? Right? Right. And if, if Greater China falls to Japan, and I'm not in the war, but it still means I can't expand because I don't have, like, I'm not going to be able to fight Japan, and then I don't have the squishy, like, warlords as targets anymore. Hmm. I wonder if there's any chance we can push here. Superior enemy, river crossings, preparing. Yeah, no, I don't think it is. I don't think there's any conceivable way. Oh, we didn't lose our place over here. That's good. Um, well, if I do this, they'll just cut me off. I was like, oh, we can, we can do something, but not really. I don't know, maybe. <clears throat> Let's 
especially oh i think they're attacking me as soon as i lose my um entrenchment is what they're doing there Romania declares war on Bulgaria. Well, good for them. Yeah, it's not much of an encirclement. <clears throat> it's not even land that's going to me either. All right, for approachment, uh, you will, I guess, purchase tanks. Albania. And we can change our government. There's still spot for something over here. Entrenchment expert, army logistics, less attrition. Just entrench entrenchment speed. Service by requirement. Oh, that's... We actually have the most aggressive um, laws. Well, not the most aggressive, but the most aggressive we're going to do for conscription. So, no. Here, we'll get the entrenchment speed. That did not take long. There we go. Just throw in there. Uh, that can easily push. You can easily push this way. You can do that. With a little boosted assistance over here. That should be 100% fine. Mm, we got a wounded leader. It's not much of an encirclement, but we'll take it. Yunnan has capitulated. I'm the only person left. In King, yeah. I'm the only person left in this war. That's the time we're at. I, I think I'm just going to keep going to like the bitter end here. Uh, oh yeah, you have no strength. Still, if we just go and bop these guys, then they can't keep attacking over there. There we go. Uh, halt you. You can move into there to take that. And vulnerable here, but they're not looking to move this way necessarily. Yeah, we'll just go and close the gap. And pushing out a little here over. That would be nice too. Meanwhile, they're closing in my capital. Like, I don't have enough... I mean, I could have just done a big fallback line and just held on way over here. Go back to being the cornered fox again. But I didn't want to do that. Look how many troops they have here. I don't know. Let's try a desperate attack. Well, it's something. It's not enough of something, but it's something. And we don't have air support. Oh, these guys actually bailed from the attack? I wonder why they backed out. When the air attack started? It's possible we could have just gone and done a direct attack there. Remember, a lot of these are not my actual designs. My own divisions, they're all borrowed troops from someone else. So, not a whole heck of a lot going on. Definitely have to have a unit sitting here. Losing this province or that one would be bad. You know, they are pushing in, so our little bulge here is very, very difficult to defend. And we probably don't want to. We probably actually would just want to pull back. Uh, like now. You need to halt that attack. You have no strength. <clears throat> Losing there. Yeah, this, this they're just going to close in. Like, I'll go to speed 5. I think I'm going to sort of stop with the micro here. They're just going to continue to close in. It will take them a long time to actually finish this off completely, but it is what's going to happen. It is inevitable. I suppose I could deploy these. I mean, interestingly enough, if I were to, like... not be training anyone else... Yeah, we basically have reached infantry equipment equilibrium. Or at least we're very close to it. 
So our proper troops should mostly be sitting at, at appropriate levels of strength. Oh, yeah, free civilian factories. Hooray. Uh, it could build like a billion land forts. And? Is it possible we could not fall forever? Eh. That seems a little hard to believe. Oh, hold on. Wait. Oh my. Wait. Oh, no. Japan called... Damn it. Uh, um... Huh. Well, the Allies might be helping, but it's too late for that. Capital state? Fully controlled by Communist China. Oh, I can't do this one. Wow. Wow. Capital state's not fully controlled by us. Mm-hmm. So... In a sense, the Allies are now fighting on our side. In a sense. Uh, because the Axis joined on the other side. Interestingly enough, it's King China here who's not even in a faction. Now, the Raj are going to fight against Japan over here. Now, America is not here yet. Do we just keep holding with it? Oh, here, King China over here. Queen King, no faction, fascist. So, but, yeah, you're definitely fighting me. On the, You're fighting on the side of Japan. Yeah. These are our friends. Red's our enemy, and the rest of the world, well, they don't particularly care about us. Spain. Uh-huh. Can we hold until the allies get involved? It feels so incredibly hard to believe. You know what? Maybe we'll do another episode. And just keep grinding it out here with Communist China. We can hold for an obscenely long time. In particular, and what would be really nice is if we could retake this. They have no org. I know they have the forts over there, but... None of these are mine. None of these are my troops. Uh, that's gonna work. And you're in defense over there. And we can just keep pulling back more and more. It'd be great to actually own artillery. I'm gonna research some of these things. I don't think we can build it, is the problem. We can get... Okay. All the war propaganda, but I don't care. War bonds are nice, though, because the consumer goods factories... Actually, I don't even know if that's going to make a, a, a numeric difference. Or consumer goods are at zero. No, it does make a difference. It brings us from 20% down to 0%, which means it goes from one factory to no factories. It actually is really huge. All right, you know what? I will put a cut in here. We're going to keep going till next time. As insane as this is, we're going to keep going. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, again, do remember to hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button because YouTube is the dumb. See you next time. Bye-bye.